Hi ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to be talking about how to find the volume of a rectangular prism if we're given the area of the base and the other side length. So you'll notice here we have this rectangular prism and up on the top here it's we're being shown that the area of the top face is 225 square inches. All right, so what does that mean? That means we've already found uh, we've already multiplied the length and the width together to give us this area. And we have the height here that's given to us on the side. So when I come up with my formula here, length times width times height, we're already told that the length times the width is 225 square inches. Right now we're going to multiply that with the height of 20 inches and that would give us the volume. So that would be a volume of 4,500 inches cubed or cubic inches. All right, we're going to go on to the next one. For this one here, we're told the area of the front face here is 62 and 5 tenths square meters. All right, so that means we've already multiplied the length and the height together and we have to multiply that still with the width. Right, so we're told the length and the height together are 62 and 5 tenths. We still have to multiply it with a width of 4 and 5 tenths. And that gives us a volume of 281 and 2500 meters cubed for our volume. All right, and the last one here, uh, it says make a sketch of each rectangular prism and then find the volume. So we're told here the area of the base is 10 and a half inches squared and the length is two and a quarter inches. Now what I'm gonna draw here will not be drawn to scale, that's okay, and I'm drawing this freehand so I, I don't have a ruler here. Okay, there's the front face. There we go. That just about looks like a rectangular prism. So we're told the length is two and a quarter, right? And then we're told the area of the base. The area of the base then means I have multiplied the width and the height together. Since we have the length here, these are the other two dimensions. So my width and the height means I have the area of this shape, this piece, that face right there. So that face is 10 and a half inches squared. All right, so now let's put those numbers into our formula, volume equals length times width times height. We're told the width and the height are 10 and a half square inches, and we need to multiply that with the length of two and a quarter. So you can type those into your calculator. If you can use fractions in there, go ahead. Otherwise, you can turn it into improper fractions. This would be 9 fourths times 21 halves, right? And if I multiply across numerator to numerator, my numerator and the product is 189 and four times two is eight. And changing that back into a mixed number, that would give us 23. When I divide eight, eight goes into 189, 23 times with a remainder of five, so five eighths would be our fraction, and the units are inches cubed. I'm gonna just circle it with a highlighter here so it's easier to see. All right, so 23 and five eighths inches cubed. If you have any questions about the topic, tune into our daily call, and I'll speak to you soon. Have a good day.